I want to talk about a few things. Um, I don't have nothing specifically planned. I was going to talk about relationship advice, uh, pointers, tips, whatever, up and down. Um, I've always been in a relationship for the most part and long term. And if I wasn't in a relationship that was called a relationship, Yes, it may seem like a situationship, but either way, I always had uh, pretty good experiences with uh, people that I've dated and talked to and, you know, things of that nature. Uh, I want to say, excuse my background, no prep today, like not even the hair, the makeup, clothes, I'm just natural, all real. <laughs> so, there it is. Um, what I want to say is... Do you not know, well, I'm not even going to say that, but do you know that in order for your relationship to work, it really has to be 50-50? That's number one. And I don't think that we know this because it's a lot of women and men in these relationships and don't know, oh, you know, some people like, I do this, which is the 60 part, and the other people do 40. The 60 40 is not going to work because that extra 10% could be a strain on the one who's doing the most. It really can. Even if it's a small, minuscule number, it's still something that can be a strain. So the goal is to really be 50 50 here. Um, also, you have to be accepting. You know, some people have so many different backgrounds and ways that they grew up that you may not be comfortable with and that you're just now experiencing. So, some people may already have children from a previous relationship. That doesn't mean that they're counted out, that they're not a good partner to be with. You have to be accepting. So, that's number two. So we got number one, 50 50. That's definitely number one. Number two, accepting. Sound like Bible study, but you got to do your part and you got to be accepting. Something like God, you know, which He always do His part, but I just want to throw it out there. Um,. Number three, um, I want to say be responsible. You got to be responsible. So that is going to fall into the breakdown subcategories, which would be um, number one. Subcategory pay, pay your bills. I'm gonna put on time in parentheses. On time, pay your bills on time. If your girl got some bills and you're staying with her, or you know, whatever, y'all living together, your roommates, whatever you want to call it, pay your bills. Don't go out and buy a bottle of liquor like you see in the background there and not pay your bills when you know your internet bills coming up, electric bill, water bill, whatever. Sometimes you have to um, make better choices. You have to prioritize. So pay your bills. That's one. Be responsible. That's a part of that. Um, also, you have to As far as be responsible, own up. Let's put that down. Own up. Slash fess up. So when you're wrong, own up to it. The other person really probably 99% of the time know when you're not fessing up and that's important cut it that's important fessing up fessing up owning up being real as 
will say these days, um, being 100, being 1,000. We need that. So that's a part of being responsible to me. Um, also, I guess we'll call it, you know, that's the same thing as like, now nah, I'm going to make that separate. All right, so we got our number one, 50-50. Number two, accepting. Number three, <clears throat> be responsible with a subcategory. Hold on just a moment, everybody. With the subcategory of pay your bills on time, own up, fess up, aka be truthful. So um, we're going to do also number four as loyalty. Be loyal. I don't know about any other woman, but that's one of my biggies. That's why it's on my list, which is be loyal. We want loyalty. We want someone that, you know, if we have a bad day, a bad week, and we spaz out and our mind is wandering and we, you know, just feel some type of way, we may be, you know, wrong for doing something or not expressing how we feel uh, properly where, you know, your partner understands uh, so what we would like in return is loyalty. I would love to be loyal, um, as loyal as you are to me. So therefore, I'm going to give my all of being loyal. I'm very forgiving. I don't know if loyal and forgiving is the same thing, but I'm going to put them two together. They're going to come hand in hand. So loyalty slash forgiving got that okay um last but not least is we're gonna do the big five today uh-uh i don't know what you're doing but stop it sorry y'all i'm a mother so some kids always run around here number five is don't change or should we say stay original stay original that's what it, that's what you need to do like we all fall in love or fall into likings and get the butterflies week one day one day two month two month three before the first year, before the first six months, if you make it, if you're strong, um, we like that first person that we met. So that's why I say don't change, stay original. Now, I don't mean don't change ever and don't grow and build opportunities for yourself because you must do that. But I'm going to just put it in the relationship perspective. Don't change. Like, don't start out giving flowers and sending I love you texts and I really like you and what are you doing and checking in texts, you know, for the first two months. But don't do it month seven, month eight. So we're going to say don't change. So we're going to summarize. Number one, 50-50. Be 50-50. If you want to be that person where you're an overachiever, do 60, but they need to be doing 62. So that's going to change the numbers a little bit. 50, 50, 60, 60, 77. Lungs is equal. Equal, equal, equal. Then you will be okay because no one's going to have that extra pressure on themselves in the relationship. Okay, so also, number two, we have accepting. Be accepting. People may have kids from the past. People may... Um, no, they have a problem. Hey, I'm dyslexia. I can't read, so this is why I do this. Or uh, I'm afraid of the dark. I got locked in a room when I was a kid. Anything. You never know. So be accepting. You don't have to accept nothing that you know you can't take or live with. So just be accepting of them. Their, their, how they grew up. How they were raised. Things of that nature. Uh, number three. Be responsible. That means money, money, money. Pay them bills. Uh, don't be, you know, petty in <coughs> excuse me, a relationship when it comes to, um, you know, just whatever. If you say you're going to do something, do it. Don't lie and 
say you're going to do it and not do it because that's going to cause more problems. Okay, so that's number three. Number four, loyalty. Your heart. Be loyal. Everybody loves loyalty, a loyal friend. So you can't be a snake expecting someone to be loyal to you. And uh, we put slash forgiving because everybody makes mistakes. Uh, no one is perfect. And, you know, you can weigh it how you want to. Some people think cheating is the end of the world. Relationship is over. Um, that's one of my biggest, too. I'm not with that. But, you know, never know how things play out. Perception is a big part of that as well. Also, last but not least, number five of the big five relationship uh, advice or tips, pointers, whatever, uh, is don't change. Stay the original OG that you are. That's what I like to call it. I'm, like, I'm the original OG. I think I'm so cool or whatever. So I always um, just say don't change. Stay original. Um, wow, this video went a little longer than I expected, but I got to get back out there. I got to stay on my stuff. I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you want to uh, leave a comment so I can, you know, finish off on this part one of relationship advice or um, tips, you can drop a comment. You can always email me, N-A-K-I-Y-A-S-K at gmail.com, and I will respond as I get them uh, 